What up, Alpha Team? It's DJ Alpha Tyler back again with another reaction, and y'all know what it is. It's Friday! Hey, y'all know who always drops their videos on Fridays, and we already here for it. Y'all saw in the title already. We're checking out Tom McDonald with the track Brainwash. Now, I know I'm dropping this one a little bit late. We had a long day. We've had a long week, but we're here for it now. Hey, y'all know before we jump into the reaction, we got a couple of things we got to talk about real quick. Number one, if you guys haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below to join the Alpha Team. Don't forget to ding that notification bell. Get on the notification squad so that you always know when we got some new content dropping outside of that make sure you like the video if you enjoy the reaction sub to the channel I already said sub to the channel get down in the description afterward though you can find all kinds of ways that you can support this channel uh you can find a link to the original video make sure that after you're done like share and subscribe in here you head over there like share and subscribe if somehow you've been li living under a rock whatever haven't checked out tom mcdonald before haven't caught this song already all that good stuff you need to get over there and do that shout out to the hangover gang baby let's go ahead and check out brainwashed by tom mcdonald let's get it the country fell asleep but they scream woke we're distracted by vaccines and tv shows politics and Half the country done fell asleep, but they scream woke. They ain't seeing nothing that's going on, but they already sleeping. They already out. They already knocked out. We're distracted by TV shows and all this stuff. We're di distracted by media and, you know, whatever else we got going on, man, we're pacified. We're pulled away from the actual issues going on in the world right now. We're being forced to pay attention to what's getting all the airtime. That's all the drama. That's all the beef. That's all the fake manufactured problems that we don't actually have she fell asleep but they scream woke we're distracted by vaccines and tv shows politics celebrity gossip popular neat quotes black lives white lives which lives mean most hey and that's a fact man he's talking about hey we're pulled away by these tv shows we're pulled away by all this nonsense we're pulled away into all this stuff but then into black lives white lives which lives mean mean the most which lives matter the most which side are you on all that hey that's what they keep us pacified with. We don't even realize it's actually just poor people fighting poor people. All right? We were all down to scream it when George W. was was uh, in the Oval Office. We were all down to talk about, hey, you know, we're going over for, you know, no more war for oil. You know, it's all blood money and all this stuff. But now we, we can't even see that we're being pitted against each other at home right now. Come on, man. Tom, Tom throwing some some facts out there, though. I mean, we busy at each other's throats over nothing. Now, Tom said it plenty of times before, right? I mean, this ain't a new narrative. This ain't a new message. My man Mises has been saying it too. Listen, black and white ain't, ain't what we need to be fighting over. We getting played by this system right now. We're getting played by society, by the government. Society is getting played by the government. Y'all know what I meant. Anyway, like that's that's the thing man we're being pacified we're being pulled away from real issues into manufactured crisis we're being played against each other for the benefit of the top let's go we only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers the men and women who died young but if you come out the closet as caitlin jenner you're a hero and you get a whole pride month he ain't wrong though he talking about we only spend memorial day remembering everybody that fell you know veterans who are still alive they get veterans day um you know we got we got that one day for people who served our country we got that one day for people who served our country in the past but we make it a whole month because you came out of the clock and i'm sorry you know what shout out to you if you're living your life if that's what makes you happy shout out to you why are you getting a whole month when when these people who made sure that you had the freedom to do that only get one day the most dangerous pandemics propaganda from these clowns only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths don't speak we don't need to defund police <laughs> yo y'all hear y'all heard that though right y'all heard the only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on these clowns mouths come on now hey let's let's dial that back clowns only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths don't sp wait we didn't even dial it back any let's go if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. Yeah. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. What I love, too, he's talking about the pandemic. The pandemic with COVID. Oh, if you're new to the channel, we pause a lot. Don't be mad. That's just how it is. Um, 
but we talking right there. We talking about the pandemic. The only pandemic going on is this propaganda that's being spread, this narrative that's being spread, pushing us, pitting us against each other. All that stuff right there. He's saying the only mess that's going to save us from this pandemic is putting duct tape on these clowns' mouths, spreading all this. Come on, man. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. Li facts, man. Facts. Defund the media, man. We got the t-shirts and everything. Mises got some out. If y'all, if y'all want some of that defund the media merch, don't forget to go hit up my man. But I'm saying, like, like real talk. You know, we don't need to defund the police. We don't need to defund the people because there are good cops. There are a few bad cops, yeah. But there are people who join the force to actually protect and serve, to do what they take an oath to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to hold the police accountable. We probably need to demilitarize the police. I can get behind that. But I'm saying, like, defunding the police, that's stupid. But we do need to defund the media because that right there, them narratives, man, they destroy in society right now. Like, Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog, because every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. Them. Hey, facts. Facts right there. Big facts. Talking about, listen, how are you going to tell me we can make a vaccine in a year for a new virus, a brand new thing that nobody's ever seen before? But somehow Big Pharma can't figure out a way to cure cancer. Big Pharma can't figure out a way to cure AIDS. Like, like cool, maybe they can't, but how does this vaccine work if that's the case? Like, and it's like he said right there, Big Pharma ain't trying to cure you. Let me go ahead and take my social media tags off. I got so excited about this track that I, I forgot. But Big Pharma ain't trying to cure you because as soon as you get cured, that means they ain't making no more money, man. They're trying to pacify you. They're trying to sedate you. They're trying to get you as well as you can be so that you're dependent on what they got to sell. That's big facts, man. Huge facts. Big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Also facts, man. Going back to what I was saying earlier. Nobody had a problem saying we were in Iraq to get oil, right? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, he ain't wrong with any piece of this, though. I mean, he's talking about the only wars that get fought. We're, we're, we're always in the Middle East. Why are we so active in the Middle East? Oil. Why, why are all these countries that we're actively interested in? What, what's going on? It's natural resources, man. If you ain't got nat natural resources are the name of the game today because we've destroyed so much, so much space. If there's nothing to grow, nothing to take away, we don't care. Come on, man. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. And again, nonsense. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist. He's a bigot. He's a monster. Let's. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna guess too. I think that's probably. I don't know if that's the hook. We we still pretty early in the song. If that was the hook, I'm guessing somebody probably had some beef with it. I'm, I'm going to say, I mean, I, I like what he said right there, though. I mean, he is talking about it. He's saying if you're a white man, braid your hair and all that stuff, rap, whatever, you're appropriating culture. you got to be a part of the a part of the enemy, right? Why, first of all, how does music belong to one one ethnicity? Like, like how, how, does, how does music get on that way? Culture should be universal. If we want equality, we got to stop saying, okay, this is... This is, you know, this belongs to these people. Only black people can rap. Only white people can do rock and roll or whatever. I mean, which is ridiculous, too, because, you know, rock and roll used to be black music. But um, only these people can do these things. And then you come down. It's, it's just like it's just like that joke. I think Daniel Tosh made like only white people can be firefighters. Only black people can be police. And then that solves racism. Right. No, it doesn't. It's still racist to put those things in place. Come on now. White man acts too white. He's white trash. He's a racist. He's a bigot. He's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. Facts too, man. Stop picking your side and then just hating the other side. That's why I love being in the middle right here. L listen, there's as many dumb liberals and conservatives. There's as many racist liberals and conservatives. Like, like racist, all these issues that we talk about exist on both sides. You ain't racist because you voted for Trump. You know what I'm saying? The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Facts too. We are the biggest enemy of the government. They don't want to see us band together and rise up. Facts, man. Come on. They can't stop us. Okay, here's the actual hook. Because we're ready to fight. Try to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. 
I do like the effects too. I like how the effect on his voice in this course is kind of giving a robotic voice while the song is called brainwashed. You know, it's almost saying like, like I'm a robot, like I'm, I'm a, I'm a voice, I'm a mouthpiece, whatever, however you want to interpret that, but it's taking it to that next level context right there. I like that. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but let's go. I know brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. I like that too. They trying to brainwash us. We ain't going to let freedom die. Just because the news, just because the media, everything that you see is trying to split you apart, don't give in to the hop, man. Band together with your neighbors, with your fellow Americans. Let's keep this country alive. That's hot, man. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become... I like how, he, excuse me, I like how he ended that right there, though. He's saying it's it's not uh, me against you, it's us against them, not you against me. The, yeah, that's what he said. It's us against them, not you against me. Facts, man. We got to band together, stay strong, support one another. We have to own our liberties. The government works for us. We don't work for them. Uh, it's us against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put floor. How did monkeys become people? How did how did monkeys evolve into people, and then people done evolved on into sheep? We came from, we came from monkeys. How are we turn it into sheep now? That don't, that don't, that evolutionary line don't even make sense. Like how we get from point A to point Z? Oh, man. It ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us. I find it hard to believe because they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Facts. They want what's best for us. I find that hard to believe when they've been selling us cigarettes since we were 18. Like, nah. Like, you want to give us the freedoms that can kill us? You don't want to give us the freedoms that can keep us alive? Come on now. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big right exactly it's like it's like the thing is too everybody talks about well both sides are evil they ain't just two sides there's you can be a republican you can be a democrat you can be a libertarian green party socialist uh constitutionalist i mean we got other parties let's stand behind let's actually move outside of a two-party system you know what i'm saying you're the left or you're right or you're black or you're white like they we pretend there's no middle ground in this country it's pushed on us that no middle ground exists or can get traction why not build it up? Let's go. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. Facts too, man. Everybody worried about a microchip being inside the vaccine. There ain't no chip inside the vaccine. Everybody worried about all that. When you carrying around something that's tracking you all day everywhere. How, how many of y'all got your location turned off on anything? How many people using a VPN on all their stuff? You know what I'm saying? You got this thing set to always track your location. You got this thing set to where anybody can see your history and everything. What are you doing to protect your privacy? But you're worried about a chip out here? Come on now. And I don't know what I'm a sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. Hey, that's a fact, though. We all ignored the fact. Everybody let it pass by. Donald Trump, while president, got banned from Twitter? And y'all don't see that as a stifling? You're literally, you know, stifling the president, regardless of if you like him or not, you're stifling the president's ability to speak to the American people. Come on, man. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why fact. If you don't trust them, why you want everybody to have to turn turn their guns in? Why you want everybody to have to register their guns? Come on now. How would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? Also facts, man. Look at look at the UK. Look at how that's going, man. I'm just saying, like, like, do you want to be policed by the police? Do you want to be, you know, dependent on somebody that takes 20 30 minutes at best to get to your house during an emergency or do you want to be able to protect your family yourself white privilege getting amplified to reinforce division it convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different so the conflict is between us and never with the system Let's just hey again right there too 
white privilege, that term, what's the biggest problem with it? Well, it causes us to go against each other because if I believe it, then I believe that I've got something that you don't have and I feel bad. If you believe it, you believe that I've got something you had and you're mad or you don't have and you're mad. It keeps us against each other instead of looking where the actual problem is. Come on, man. People getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. I like how he's repeating that piece, too. I like how we're going back to that. Y'all got to learn about this middle ground, man. Come on. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us But we won't let freedom die I don't know how I feel about this hook. I mean, I don't dislike the hook. Like I said, I think I think thematically, I think it fits. I think it 100% fits in and everything. And honestly, like, it's not a bad hook. It's just not, it's, so, it's not super catchy like some of his hooks. And that's what I'm used to. And I actually am one of the few people that appreciates that Tom uses a catchy hook. That's what it's for. It's supposed to hook you in, get stuck in your head and all that. But um, you know, I, I really, I, I do like this one, I think, I, I, but I really want to know if it was intentionally robotic, you know what I mean? Like if intentionally it just came out to, cause I, well, I assume it is. And I know, you know, that, that Tom's at that level, he's going to get what he wants in a mix. And so the, the thing that I'm looking for, like, like if that was an artistic decision, I, I 100% that takes this hook up a notch for me. You know what I mean? The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one, train the people only. Oh, we got some steps coming. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, remember that, though. It's us against them, not you against me. And that ain't a call for... That ain't a call for riots or anything like that. That's a simple statement. We have to remember who's in, in control. We have to remember who has to take charge. It's not our government's place to give us things. It's our place to give them authority. Not against them, it ain't you against me. Step one, train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step Okay, he's talking about the government steps right here. Step one, train the people only only to consume. Nobody producing. When was the last time you raised the garden? When was the last time you raised some livestock? You know what I'm saying? We can't provide for ourselves. We're so used to buying at the stores or something. We got to see. And that's like when we talk about food shortages. What's the biggest problem that runs out with a food shortage? Nobody's producing for themselves. So if there's no food at the lo local supermarket, where are you going to get your food? How are your family going to eat? Step one, train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three. Yeah, I like that too. Infiltrate adults with the news. Again, get all the all these hot button things. Hit people's emotions. Get them riled up and, and mad at each other. Indoctrinate the children through the schools. That hey, and that's facts too. They got control of the schools. Indoctrinate the children through the schools. Take, take pride in America out of the schools. Take you know religion out of the schools take anything that's got a strong moral foundation out of the schools okay and the music and the apps on the phones that they use that oh we talking about too the music and the, and the apps that they use and and everything else kids are hearing this everywhere they're being taught this they're hearing it in the music and the media that they consume they're seeing it in the apps they use let's go man let's go or separate the right from the left already happened 100% the right and the left both think that they are the only option and they think that anybody from the other side is a terrible despicable person fact Step five separate the white from the blacks also already happened man I'm proud to say like I've got a lot of friends you know regardless of what they look like that we all see through the nonsense you know what I'm saying like like it ain't every white person or every black person that's eating all this but I mean for the majority yeah, it's separated, man. We've been segregated. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Also already happened. Use religion and equality to separate a more step. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Religion and equality right there because religion goes against what, what, what certain people identify with or as or whatever. That's also used as, okay, well, if they don't, if they don't fully support this, then they have to hate it. They have to be against it. Just because you're a Christian and you don't support homosexuality or trans whatever does not mean that you hate it. You know what I'm saying? There are plenty of Christians who are, you know, they don't agree with you. 
They're going to pray for you. They think that you're wrong. They think that you're misled. They think that something else is wrong. They're going to pray for you, but that don't mean that they hate you. Step seven, fabricate a problem, made a lie. Step eight, put it on the... Mm, fabricate a problem, made a lies? Yeah, man, also, like, like we got issues that ain't issues coming up. Separate them more, step seven. Fabricate a problem, made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine. Yep, yep, exactly what we talked about a minute ago with the news piece. Nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. Bro, he just laid out the whole plan, though. I mean, real talk. When we gonna get martial law? When are tensions gonna be so big? You you don't have to look hard. Odds are you probably already know tensions are already flowing over in America. They're flowing over all over the whole world, whether it's vaccine or not, whether it's white or black, rich or poor, religion, whatever the case may be. People already at each other's throats. We're waiting until this stuff spills over in the street so that the government can take over and separate us by whatever they've got. They've got an excuse then to take control and be the boss. Come on, and we'll come begging to them. That's the sad thing. People don't even see it. They're so caught up in their safety instead of their freedoms. They're going to go begging for it. Please tell me what to do. Guide me through this. Here are my guns. Here are, Here is everything I have. Please get me to the other side. They can't stop us. Because we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. I do like too. He's sitting in the he's sitting in the static room. Uh, you know, all the TVs are on static. The news is gone and everything. You know, it's it's kind of that statement of saying, you know, I'm just staring at nothing. But he but he's also kind of like it artistically gives me that vibe. You know, it's the equivalent of staring at the news though. And then he's turning it all off. You know, finally unplugging, breaking away from the system. Let's go. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. against them, and then you against me. Tom McDonald with Brainwash, man. Tom McDonald really brought some heat in this one. Shout out to Nova for that video. It's a little simple, stripped down video, but I mean, it gets the job done. It gets it gets the point across, you know what I'm saying? It does what it's supposed to do. And what it's supposed to do is really emphasize what he's talking about, man. We are lost if we don't fix this situation soon. Y'all let me know what you guys think about this one. I think, I think this is something we, like a lot of the things he's talking about in this video are things we as a society have got to get a grip on or we're gonna be screwed in the long term, man. We have got to fix our situation. Nobody is gonna fix it positively unless we fix it, unless we take control and say, I'm tired of being divided by all these things that don't have to divide us. That's what we gotta move to. Y'all let me know what you guys think about the song. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a minute, checking it out. Make sure you get down in the description. Head over, find the original if you haven't already. Support this channel any way that stands out to you. Like, share, and subscribe over here. Do the same over there. Connect with me on social media, whatever the case may be. As always, I'm DJ Alpha Tyler. Hope you're staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and I'm going to catch you guys next time. Hello! Right, the man just won't take their balls. Grab your balls, you a grown-ass man. Wanting to cry like it's a party you plan can understand. Yeah, you're ripping that you go hard, rapping with no bars, ripping you a joke, only ripping off the real stars. I got to stop all the crime, and you know we're gonna have one hell of a time. Stick a sip of the shot, I'm in sense in your mind, been on the sideline watching, aging like a fine wine inferno in your mind, like Dante in the nine.